안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami and Michael is here today because he thought it would be good to do like a year review of um, our work on YouTube, just being transparent with you and talking about our income and yes. what we've been doing with our yes. channels. So it's actually like 2.30 a.m. right now for us mm -hmm. and Nami didn't really know that we were going to do this video, but I felt like it was important. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I've been reading in some of the comments and actually we've been getting emails of those who are interested in starting their own YouTube channel mm -hmm. and just talking about the logistics of how to, like realistically, how can we start one, what are the necessary things that we should know. And what I'll say right off the bat is view it as a business because everything in life in a sense mm -hmm. is business. And even though it may be a hobby in the beginning, yeah. like whatever you're doing in life, whether it be content creation through a social media platform or whatever or work you're like doing outside of or, it, yeah. whether it be like services, hospitality, mm -hmm. or artistic, or a profession of some kind, mm -hmm. it is a business in a sense. And you know, it was quite a big major undertaking and risk for us mm -hmm. because Nami was working full time makeup instructor at a college full time. And we actually gave that up. I think, yeah, I would like to do a life update as well because right. I haven't done one in like since the beginning of 2018. Mm -hmm. But there have been like three major changes in our life since then. Mm -hmm. And so I think it would be good to do like a very comprehensive life update um, right. based on, you know, my work, the kids and where we are with um our content creation and we just haven't been able to find the time to just sit down and for me to just sit down and like compile that life update right um, and there have been so many small minute changes we both kind of turned away from our area of experience or expertise and moved on to a medium and platform in which we can kind of leverage and use as a tool yeah and I don't think it's really like moving on either. I think right now we're just investing. Investing, um, right. Because we want to invest in the channels. We want to invest in you. And mm -hmm. we want to... Um, this is where our heart lies right now. Mm -hmm. And we want to grow this right now where we can create just more. I think we will go back to developing our our professional careers in terms of your social work. Yes. And my makeup artistry as well but this is involved in that but this is involved in that both yes both of what we are doing yes just to share for nami her 10-year goal is that she wants to open up her home 10 yeah. years of brand studio. building studio and would lead towards education. the school i'm sure you also have a vision or an interest or a tinkling mm -hmm. of you know is this what something you would that like to i could even just consider bring. or even mm -hmm. practice what you would like to bring towards uh, the platform and it's it's a risk of course because of time and money monetary mm -hmm. investment a time investment and for us we have two mouths to feed we have two dependents right like other than us <laughs> yes other than us it's been two years i think in 2016 we were at around 25,000 subscribers mm -hmm. and so i don't remember uh really establishing kind of a content branding plan mm -hmm. and uh listening and hearing out what you the viewer or the audience would like to see more mm -hmm. and kind of getting a core directive direction to mm -hmm. our channel content uh, by grace we were able to hit uh like 250,000 where we are now uh within two years and of course there are other other channels who can do mm -hmm. like one two mil in like half a year and i guess based on our branding and uh content it's not necessary like I guess it's we, not we just haven't really seen like that kind of growth. Yeah, yes. consumable. But it also, that is growth is important in that we have to bring enough money to put food on the table, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. pay our rent and pay our fees and pay you know, our, bills. Just, uh, our yeah, bills. Not bill, not fees. <laughs> fees, pay our bills. Mm -hmm. Our December check from YouTube yes. or Google AdSense, which is the money that you get from the ad that you watched in the beginning of this video and in the beginning right. of other videos on yes. YouTube. So the average, so this is the money that we get from Google, just from on like, views, yeah. right? And so- Views on advertisements in front of our videos. Yes. What was it? Oh, 2,500 Canadian. So 2,594 to be exact, Canadian. Let me see what that is in Which US. is- Okay. 1,900. Which is currently, as of December like 30th, it's 
1,905 US, US dollars. dollars. It's not little at the same time. It's not much mm -hmm. when you consider rent mm -hmm. and then car lease and insurance already. It only covers that, but it doesn't yeah. cover food, uh, food or extracurricular activities. If you do yes, put travel, the kids in programs, emergency funds, uh, that's actually a better month. We range yeah. throughout the past from, from 2018 up to around thousand five hundred dollars to like two thousand five hundred. Wait, a thousand five hundred dollars Canadian to U.S. is a thousand a hundred. Yeah, on a good month, we'll hit around two thousand U.S. dollars from Google, and on a bad month, down to even as low as a thousand one hundred U.S. dollars. Mm -hmm. It's quite fluctuant, right? Yeah. Normally, um, the cost that advertisers will pay for those kind of views just in front of a video or like at the sidebar of like a google page or something would be 10 people who view it you get a cent the average is like that but every content creator will have a different um rate because just from like different demographics right. or so it's called cost per melee cpm so for every 1000 views it's how many dollars dollars you make per 1000 views mm. so the average across youtube is two to three us dollars per 1000 views mm -hmm. so some, every 10 people would be like one or two cents yes so some channels make even as low as zero because let's say they have like profanity, demonetization yeah. demonetization or their topics are like vulgar or yes uh, unfamily friendly it's graphic it's not family mm -hmm. friendly then or if it's violent they could make zero mm -hmm. or Channels that do really well in CPM are like coaching channels or business channels. Yeah, or More like niche. ASMR channels where people just keep coming back and yes. watch long durations. More niche, specific. it really depends on your niche mm. and there's so much data that Google collects on who your audience is yeah. and they assess the buying power of who your audience is and advertisers are willing to pay more for more niche specific channels to reach out to specific people who are willing right. to buy and click on the ads and have a click through rate. Mm -hmm. And so if you are interested in starting a YouTube channel or if you have already a channel, typically you won't be able to monetize in the beginning of 2018. They implemented a new policy. Mm -hmm. You have where to have like a thousand subscribers. And within the last 12 months, you have to have 2,500. 4, 4, you have to have 4,000 hours of watch time, which is a yeah. quarter million minutes across all the videos of your channel. Yeah. And then you'll be considered to be able to monetize your content, which yeah. is to make money your AdSense revenue yeah. through advertisements. I think YouTube did implement that to protect the platform from like outrageous stuff like the Tide Pods. And well, mainly also because some people were making kind of fake accounts, just re-uploading the same content right. to saturate and to collect the money. Right, right, and right. So, and so they were only wanting to monetize and encourage incentively monet like people money People who are actually creating yes. genuine like creative content. 2018 was a big year for us because prior to 2018, we were only relying on the ads. Yeah, that was crazy. And so in 2018, <gasps> Nami starts to develop. Oh man, I remember when we were making like $50 off AdSense a month. Right, but that, we weren't that, really taking we were it seriously. We were just doing it then. as a hobby. Yes, we, well, we, I we was were working in hobby. different means. We do see huge potential in this. And even for you, if you're interested, because every mm -hmm. right now, currently, every mm -hmm. month, there are 2 billion unique Login ID users. Yeah. users who are visiting YouTube for at least one hour. Wow, that's a lot. That's huge, and it's expected to increase, go up, yeah, to even up up to five billion in the next ten years. Well, YouTube is the number one most Visited used website. website, second to Google, second to Google, which is YouTube's owner. So, so they're kind of connected. You search something mm -hmm. on Google, YouTube comes up. Mm -hmm. It's practically the same thing. Our generation, well, young millennials. Generation Zs who are 1995 to 2010 and the up coming Generation Alphas who will be 2010 to 2025 mm -hmm. We're all growing up in this media saturated visually stimulating mm -hmm. like Culture. video mm -hmm. kind of rendered medium Understanding in fact there were research that was done that in which young Millennials and Gen Zs They said that their mo most preferred method of communication and learning was through video form mm -hmm. and so in a sense, picking up uh, videography or cinematography or whatever it might be through uh, a social media platform is like learning a language. It's been tricky, challenging for us, especially for me because mm, it's a totally- You have no background. It's in... a pivot, Yeah. Right? Like I'm not, I'm not, I had to learn how to be on camera and I'm still, 
I have many faults and I have to learn how to mm -hmm. be on camera. Editing was a struggle. Mm -hmm. On camera is a struggle. Yeah. Producing is a struggle. Directing is a struggle. Yeah. Marketing is a struggle. Yeah. It's kind of like wearing many different hats to 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 something. Start sitting on on uh, YouTube or any other platform, and that's one of the biggest struggles that I had personally because it's such a huge learning curve. It's like you're scaling a mountain that's like 90 degree up mm -hmm. and you've never climbed anything before in your life. And so right. it's going through the basics and learning. And yeah, you toiled hard. You started merchandising mm, this year. And you, you know, it's merch. probably brought in maybe a hundred dollars a month. I'm guessing around there. A month? No. Less? Less. We only got paid once. Oh, okay. And it was like $60. Right. So we're grateful. I mean, it's, yeah, it's a sad, it was... but it's, <laughs> we're grateful. Uh, affiliate marketing. It's so a... we do affiliate. And you know why it's sad? It's because some creators make 10K a month just from merch. Yes. Yeah. So like, it's not something that we promote as avidly as some other creators. Right. Because like our merch is a little bit on the pricey side because the quality is there in the product to share the branding to sell in a sense but also mm -hmm. not to over oversell. Mm -hmm. yeah and just make yeah. it about that because that's not because that's not what it is yes. about but yeah. then again money is important because we have right. mouths to feed mm -hmm. and bills to pay also affiliate marketing which is if you sell something through a link in which we you have, get a commission you get like then, a like yeah. three four or five percent commission based on mm -hmm. the sale and so that also helps supports uh, channels, um, channels, channels and uh, there's many different other ways you can monetize, mm -hmm. but our main key ways were AdSense, affiliate, merchandising, sponsorships, and sponsorships. I yeah. think that's, that's it. It was like once every other month. Once some every other be, month or yeah, some of them would be really small. Yes. Um, and it would range from like unpaid, yeah, unpaid. just product all the way up to a thousand dollars for yeah. to be more specific. Yeah. Some creators, they'll do a sponsorship every video mm -hmm. and they would make something like there was a whole thing in the beauty community about um, someone revealing their rates for a 10 second mention they would charge like fifty thousand dollars or forty thousand dollars or something like that us and there was this whole thing about like oh my gosh that's a lot but at the same time that's so little for like the millions that they're selling like the millions of that product that they're selling for the company and the company doesn't have to pay like half a million dollars to produce a commercial one i guess you can say youtuber right yeah they would be the one behind 
scripting filming, and filming yeah. and editing you wouldn't and need marketing. like an actor a production yes. crew like lighting crew sound crew for yes developing you don't need to pay insurance yeah. for all of them and travel and yeah. stay fees for us i think our rates are quite low because we never really try to like juice Right. Money. At the same time, we're not really good at it. Yeah, to be we're not. But we feel like we need to. We're not really. Yeah. Like I kind of forced Nami to take a business communication course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really helpful. And I'm also take, making her take a personal financing course. Because mm, I'm really bad at math. Because I think for both of us, our financial Relatable. literacy, like like a weakness together. Yeah. That we both share, which is a dangerous. Is mm, we're both a bit low on the financial from literacy From both side. of our families too. Like, there's no background on right. financial literacy at yes. all so yeah i guess we just want to be like transparent as well with you in like our work because this right now is our full-time work right. um our uh, content creation and the re i guess in a sense the reality of how much create content creators make. yeah but people then, think like you make so much money and then they say things like you can't possibly be doing this full-time because you can't possibly be making a full-time wage off of this right. because your channel is small and then other people who say like oh you get you guys get so much money from youtube but then they don't even know how much you actually make right. <laughs> and it depends on per channel like some channels that are smaller yeah than us yeah they make, make more like triple mm. quadruple times mm. And a lot of it is through maybe affiliate marketing. Like yeah, they or get... they have Patreons that donate every month. Right. Mm. It's, it's interesting. Like so many of us are creative. Every, everyone is an yeah. influencer. And everyone is a content creator. Yeah. We just do it Even through different means. Even if you just take means. a photo, like yes. that's your creation. Or if you just exactly. draw a sketch, if that's something that you have as a hobby yes. to draw. And of course, you've heard of many studies of people saying that you know the number one job that every high school wants to do is become a youtuber or do something on twitch or social media mm. or instagram whatever whatnot in a sense i guess i encourage you to try mm. to try and explore and learn through the yeah. process and we do get questions as well based on content creation like what kind of editing software we use mm -hmm. or what does our process look like like if we could do a q a or something about that about our work doing youtube or creating content on this platform so if you have questions or if there are specific videos that you find will be helpful for you if this is something that you're interested in we'd love to address them you know make specific videos on it like how we even edit our videos or mm -hmm. what programs we use what our equipment looks like how much we had to invest in the first couple years mm -hmm. um into our equipment into our time you know mm -hmm. that kind of stuff and we also thank you thank you to our nacho fam who have been with us and who have supported mm -hmm. us especially for like some of you who have been here for like eight years <laughs> Why? We're not perfect, obviously. We, our vision is to create a community mm. of wisdom and discipline, you know, in whatever you are in what you are pursuing. Mm. Like we hope to embody and exemplify that. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Bye.